Hi, this is Father's Day, year 2020 on the Gregorian calendar. And I'm doing a Bible study today about the name of our King and our Savior and our Father in Heaven. I did a word study on chapter 7 of Sam, Second Samuel. And I learned some things out of the Strong's Concordance Hebrew, Concise Hebrew Dictionary that's very revealing of the identity of our Elohim. Of this, we call him in English, we say that Jesus is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. But in Hebrew, his name Yeshua means salvation. And he is king of kings, meaning he is our king. And he makes us a royal priesthood that we should be kings and priests of his holy kingdom. That every man be a king of his own household and, and a priest petitioning before our father in heaven. When we say Lord of Lords in Hebrew is Adon. Of Adonai, in the, not Lord of Lords as Lord of us being Lords, but He is of the Elohim. He is the one that was sent, that Jacob prophesied of. That the obedience of the people will be the Shiloh. So. Now, reading from 2 Shemuel, chapter 7, I mean, reading from it, I'm doctoring a, my New King James Version with just a little bit of Hebrew. Um, verse 1 begins like this, saying, Now it came to pass, when the king was dwelling in his house, and Jehovah had given him rest, from all his enemies all around, that the king said to Nathan the prophet, See, now I dwell in the house of cedar, but the ark of the Elohim dwells inside tent curtains. Then Nathan said to the king, Go do all that is in your heart, for Jehovah is with you. But it happened that night, that the word of Jehovah came to Nathan, saying, Go tell my servant David. Thus says Jehovah, Would you build a house for me to dwell in? For I have not dwelt in a house since the time I brought the children of Israel up from Egypt, even to this day, but have moved about in a tent and in a tabernacle. Wherever I have moved about with all the children of Israel, have I ever spoken a word to anyone from the tribes of Israel, whom I command to shepherd my people, saying, Why haven't you built a house for me of cedar? Now therefore, thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says Jehovah, the Saba, I took you from the sheepfold, from following the sheepfold, from following the sheep to rule over my people, over Israel. And I have been with you wherever you have gone and have cut off all your enemies from before you and have made you a great name like the name of the great men who are on the earth. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel and will plant them that they may dwell in a place of their own and move no more, nor shall the sons of wickedness oppress them any more as previously. Since the time that I commanded judges to be over my people Israel and have caused you to rest from all your enemies. Also, Jehovah tells you that he will make you a house 
And when your days are fulfilled and you rest with your fathers, I will set up your seed after you who will come from your body and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father and he shall be my son. If he commits iniquity, I will chastise him with the rod of men and with the blows of the sons of men. But my mercy shall not depart from him as I took it from Shahu, whom I remove before you. And your house and your kingdom shall be established forever before you. Your throne shall be established forever. According to all these words and according to all this vision, so Nathan spoke to David. And in the Bible study, we'll look, find more details that was omitted from this, so just a couple of details in Second Chronicles chapter 28, verses 2 through 8. So now again, from verse 18, it's written, The king David went in and sat before Jehovah, and he said, who am I, Adonai Jehovah? And what is my house that you have brought me this far? And yet, this was a small thing in your sight, Adonai Elohim. And you have also spoken of your servant's house for a great while to come. Is this the manner of man? O Adonai Elohim. Now, what more can David say to you? For you are Adonai Jehovah. Know your servant. For your word's sake and according to your own heart, you have done all these great things to make your servant know it. Therefore, you are great, O Jehovah Elohim. For there is none like you, nor is there any Elohim besides you, according to all that we have heard with our ears. And who is like your people, like Israel, the one nation on the earth whom Elohim went to redeem for himself as a people, to make for himself a name, and to do for yourself great and awesome deeds for your land, before your people, whom you redeemed for yourself from Egypt, the nations and their gods. For you have made your people Israel your very own people forever, and you, Jehovah, have been their Elohim. Now, O Jehovah Elohim, the word which you have spoken concerning your servant, concerning his house, establish it forever and do as you have said. So let your name be magnified forever, saying, Jehovah the Saba is the Elohim over Israel. And let the house of your servant David be established before you. For you, O Jehovah the Saba, Elohim of Israel, have revealed this to your servant, saying, I will build you a house. Therefore your servant has found it in his heart to pray this prayer to you. And now, O Adonai, Jehovah, you are Elohim, and your words are true, and you have promised this goodness to your servant. Now, therefore, let it please you to bless the house of your servant, that it may continue before you forever. For you, O Adonai, Jehovah, have spoken it. And with your blessing, let the house of your servant be blessed forever. So, this is the basis of our Bible study. We're going to continue uh, part two with this as a Bible study and discussion. But this one, I want you to remember and share abroad. For the children of Israel have been worshiping this one we call Jesus, who is Yeshua, who was crucified and raised from the dead.
He is Jehovah the Saba, King of Kings and Adon of Adonai. Hallelujah to the Lamb.